we gathered 20 of Houston's hottest singles who were ready to take their love lives to the next level. We're looking back at a season that took us on an unforgettable and emotional journey. The cast is all here to talk about every twist and turn that went down on and off the cameras. Join us in the conversation using hashtag ready to love. Are you pregnant? I am pregnant. I got 10 guys here. Is it one of them? I did, baby. Look, don't y'all speak up. <laughs> we got six Is that now. number six? Okay. That's number six. <laughs> is it one of my boys on this show? You know. Who is the lucky fella? A very successful good man. I found love. We gathered all 20 of our singles under one roof. As you can imagine, it definitely has its pros and its cons, or as Brian might call it, prawns. You all think Brian is smooth or just a master bs -er? Brian just has a way with words. Looking back, man, do you think you'd have done anything differently? Well, one thing I would do is be more uh, blunt with certain things. When you leave gray areas, you put yourself in a position. So it's good to be extremely upfront and honest about things as far as how you feel and what you plan to do. What worked between the two of you at the beginning? Um, you know, his humor did get me. We have to realize this. People hear through the lens of their experiences. So if you're guarded, then that means that you're not expressing yourself all the time. So there's room for misinterpretation. I don't really understand exactly what you're trying to say. I apologize if you didn't feel um, safe when you did express yourself to me, but that was never... Uh... It was intentional. Allegedly, he he's, um, has a baby on the way. I don't know if that's true, but... It's well... another baby? <laughs> Is this your baby here? Uh, no. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, you have a child on the way? If it's alleged and you don't know any factors or details and you have no context, then why even speak on something like that? Somebody gonna answer my question. Yeah. I, I, I already answered it. That's, 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 that's fake news, man. That's fake news. Let me see you on aisle three picking up no pamphlets. I was feeling Jay. But then I just decided that it's time for me to love myself. Okay. And I'm unwilling to be with someone who wants me to be their little secret. I'm tired of being a dirty little secret. She can turn that cry on real quick, man. That's, this when, that's the part when me and Joy was in love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I initially didn't believe you until what I just saw. I wasn't making it up, and I wasn't trying to be messy. Nothing against you. If you felt this was such a negative thing for me to have even ask, why did you bring it up in front of a bunch of people? Same and, reason but, that it was but, messy for you to come in between me and Jay. No, it, why was that messy when we're you all dating? You don't think that, that was messy? That wasn't I trusted you that you had enough good on. sense that if it was good something negative, you should have had a conversation with Winter. But Winter didn't do anything wrong. And neither did I. If I was being messy, Winter would have had a problem with what I said. What you two sister wives do between yourselves is amongst sister yourselves. Sister wives. Who? Ladies, yeah, hang had on a, a second. Conversation. Hold on. No, I don't need Why to understand anything ladies, that ladies. you have you to say. To hang on. I want to hear from Jay. The type of woman that I prefer to have in my life is somebody that communicates in a certain way. And that showed me that, okay, well, maybe this isn't it. There's just not an alignment there. Agreed. But I think what upset me is I'm getting blamed for something that had good intention, poor execution, and it was blown out of proportion. But then you just charged her up for what she had was good intention, and I don't think she had bad execution either. I do. <laughs> Please. Since it was my situation and it was me, Thank you, let me say this. That was going to be my next question. I don't feel like Joy was messy. 
I didn't like hearing you talk about a man went in my room half naked. That was embarrassing. Honestly, if I saw you go into her room with a shirt on, I wouldn't have said anything. But we grown. If he wanted to go into my room with no shirt on, but it was it was still weird. It was just weird. At the end of this, y'all need to give Simone her Oscar, okay? I'm joking, Simone. I'm trying to lighten your mood, okay? Can I give you a hug? Because you can, baby girl. No, you yes. can. I love you. Because everything you're going through, I wasn't yeah. about to come at you with no bullshit. I got you. You got a real girl. Word. I got you. So now, are they sister wives now? I'm glad we was able to get all this out because it looks like it needed to be. So hopefully we've gotten it off our chest. Everybody has respect for one another. Do you think you were misunderstood? Do you think you worded some, what do you, tell me about it. Definitely uh, misunderstood, but I think I didn't have a fair chance to explain myself. So let's do this. Joy. I'll start with you. I do apologize for putting my finger in your face. Didn't mean anything by it. Apology definitely accepted, and we are good. At the end of the day, I always said I thought you were a good guy. I don't personally think that's what got you kicked off. I think that it was you not connecting with people. So, Lisa, why were you? There goes the misunderstanding again. I need to know this woman first before even meeting right, her right. kids, because it may not even be nothing you with us. We may not even right, get to that. Right, we right, may right. not even get there. I was speaking at once we were there, though. The man is still not responsible for every single thing. I'm not a woman like that. Like, I can pay for David actually has been to my house since the yes. show. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you getting mad love, though, on social media, man. What's that been like for you? Man, it's actually been a great experience, I would say, because I didn't really expect that. Have you connected with anybody on, on this social media stuff? No. Nah. What about anybody that's, that's, that's on the show here? Any interest? Me, me and uh, Alex, we hung out a few times. Oh! Dave and I are just friends. Yeah, like, we're we, just friends. Yeah, we it just, was, it was, you said you was interested in her. So interesting is not friends, you know that. Are you up to it or not? Sure, we can go out on a date. Yeah, we got a date. We can go probably, I guess, what, uh, go-karts? Okay. Let's go. I think that'll be fun. Okay. Especially some like, you know, I'm really like competitive, though. Yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. probably going to win. I'm low-key doing like a Patrick. You, you think you're going to? No, I'm probably going to win. Mm -hmm. yep. Is that so? He eventually found himself caught up and captivated in a winter wonderland. What made the two of you, you know, decide to give it a try? Apps. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I loved how our sense of humor was complimentary. I felt like Anthony is a very genuine person, and I could tell that he really cared about me, and I felt safe. What's it been like since you guys have left the resort? Anthony is a very passionate communicator. And for me, when you, you know, raise up, I shut down. My voice, like how right now, this may be a little too much for her. If I talk like it that. It was higher than this. It was higher than this. I know it was higher than this. It was higher than that. Yeah. Everybody has their own perception when it comes to that. What caused the heat? Uh, there's something about finances. We're both at fault at some point. Yeah, but mostly him. Mostly wow. him. <laughs> we, we all can't okay. take responsibility? Yes. Is there any chance of rekindling, maybe? Yes. I was committed to listening, which I had not been doing. I was committed to actually hearing him out, like, OK, I understand why, you know, that might have upset you, but this is what I meant by that. Since we talked, it has opened the door a lot. Check that blue house out right there. So just imagine us being inside at home. I ain't got no shirt on. I, I got hot baby oil all on my arms. Right. I'm in the kitchen and I'm just whipping it up for you. And I'm just like, boo, just go down there and take a seat. Before you left, where was your connections between Jay and Edwin? I had a stronger connection with Jay. 
Not too long before that, I was struggling between Jay and Edwin. However, I felt that Edwin put more effort in. He mm. was very intentional. And I mean, you knew Edwin liked you. You know, I knew he liked me. I realized that my conversations were deeper with Jay. Less romance with Jay, but more personal. Yeah, you romance got some work brother. to do. <laughs> <laughs> you got some work to do, no, brother. I... You uh, think you would have done anything different with Joy? You turn the hands back? Consistency, I would say, would have been what I needed to do. You kiss on the cheek. That's a kiss. A kiss is a kiss. How do you feel in return when you get just a kiss on the cheek? It really bothered me. I know who I feel the connection with, and that's the one that I want to nurture. The one? Or not one, but the, the one. The one just, there was Maybe no plurality one. to that. There was just straight one. I feel like the picture that's being painted, is, it's almost like that's Camelot, and then I get to look like the side hoe. I promise you, you ain't never met nobody like me. Mr. Room to Room number two. Damn right. <laughs> we had a great time, didn't we? Winter, does that bring up any emotions to you? It looks crazy, but like that's the only time we could talk without cameras and we got to really know each other and that was actually cool to watch. Joy. I was honestly shocked when you would tell me, you just like, yeah, winter's dope, winter's this, whatever. But when I saw it, I was like, oh. If you would have stayed at the resort, do you think there's a possibility that you and winter would have connected for good? That I can't say because it didn't happen. Joy and I had a conversation about that. I also had a conversation with you, and it's the same conversation, right? Um, what I I want to hear what winter has to say. Go ahead. No reason to lie or exaggerate. Your conversation with me was, I don't know if I want to do this, it's a hard decision. And I supported you in that. By then, Anthony and I's connection was growing, so I was really like, okay, yeah, you probably You're should You're talking about go. When, when, when I left? Yes. The conversation that I had with you when I decided to leave was the day that I was leaving, and we were, I'd already packed everything. That was on the bench, right? Okay. Never okay. Winter, are there still feelings here? <laughs> no, I'm, I, just I'm smiling. Just looking at him like, I don't know if I'd have stayed around that long. We're going to find out what shape these relationships are in. She wanted me to deliver a message to the crew. She has built great relationships with you, Jay. Edwin, when Joy left, you seemed to have just completely lost interest for the process. Yeah. Tell me what, what got you to that point. I recognized that Joy and Jay had a stronger connection, but I also realized that I had a connection with her as well. And it's almost as if I immediately felt the hurt that she felt. I think a lot of the ladies felt that way. Joy, we, we love you. But I did not craft that message. I didn't have time to craft a message like that. Denise, why did you feel the need to do that? I wanted Joy to express herself through me. It's hard for me to give you a pass. It just wasn't cool. I wanted you to have a voice while you're not here. And if that was a problem, I do apologize. And I did call you and tell you about that. You didn't tell me, like, everything you said, because that is on a yeah. whole yeah, other level. Cool. This wasn't even about myself. This was about you, so. I don't think it was ill intent, but I definitely think it was inappropriate. OK, I'll take that.
Joy and Jay, what is the status of your relationship now? Don't answer that question. Because we're out of time. We will continue the conversation and then some. First of all, I didn't know that. Yeah. When I rethink it in my mind, and I was like, damn, I didn't know y'all were that intimately close girlfriends like that for you to be her mouthpiece. That is narcissistic. I'm, I'm sorry. I think that she's a narcissist. Black her as a person, but that was pretty messy. It's crazy. It wasn't in no malicious or trying to be like, or whatever, being self-centered, because there's nothing about me that's self-centered. There's just certain lines you don't cross, that's all. I was a little confused. I was kind of fooled a little bit. I, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, but that one just really, uh, I don't know.